Welcome everybody. Let's talk about your internet connection. Now this device using the warp application with the 1111 DNS, this one isn't. All right. I'm gonna be showing you some things in this video guys which I need to talk about to make sure that we set the scene and also try to set the expectations. So first things first, I'm going to explain what is a trace route, how can you check your connection and what devices stands in between your device, devices on your network and the address you're looking for. How can you optimize it by just downloading one free application, use more secure and faster connection for your mobile phone. But first things first, now you see on your screen two devices. This here is my Samsung Galaxy S21, right? Didn't do anything here. This here is my Xiaomi 11, which has this application installed that optimizes your connection, makes it more secure, and of course, faster, quicker connection. Now I need to explain, what is Traceroute? What you can see on your left screen here is Traceroute, and this is a network diagnostic tool used to track in real time the pathway taken by a packet on an IP network from source, which is right now my phone, to the destination, which in my case is Google Call. Right? It reports the IP addresses of all the routes it pinged in between. But also very important guys, Traceroute also records the time taken for each hop the packet makes during its route to the destination. Now okay, let me just start this together with you. So source here is my phone, destination is google.com. Now I'm checking all the devices between my phone connected on my network until I reach my destination, which is Google. And as I told you, it's also measuring the hops. So it takes me three milliseconds to read my router, then another six milliseconds to reach this IP address, then along the way, 10 milliseconds to go to this address, and then in the end, the last hop, the ninth hop, took also nine milliseconds. So number of hops, nine hops all together, resulting with eight, nine, six, three milliseconds of delay. Okay, this is very, very important, guys. And why I'm showing this command to you now, I'm gonna open the same trace out command, right? Another phone, right? Same network, but I'm using here the warp application, which I want to show you in this video. I'm gonna start the trace out command right now, okay? And as you can see, okay, we are really going through a different path. Okay, how many hops? Only six hops, resulting in 7042 milliseconds of delay or latency, okay? Let me put something else there, All right? Let me put CNN.com. I'm gonna use CNN.com here as well. Let's start the tracing, okay? So you see, on my Galaxy phone, not using the Warp application and the 111 private DNS, I'm always going through my router and it takes really a lot of hops going to CNN.com, right? Still at 21 hops and is not yet finished. 30 hops. Altogether 15,668 milliseconds, right? Here we have again 30 hops, but see the time, guys. So even same amount of devices are passed through the way, right? The delay is almost like 4,000 milliseconds less, okay? Now, having understood what trace routing is and having understood what I'm measuring with this, I wanna show you the topic of the video. So everybody knows Cloudflare. They are protecting one of the biggest websites on the internet. Most probably you or notice them already when you're trying to look for something up and then you see Cloudflare message, okay, waiting for some seconds until the checks are done. Cloudflare also released the public DNS 1111. But for you to understand how this makes a difference and what exactly this is, we need to speak a bit about DNSs. They say here, the free application that makes your internet safer, right? You're one tap away from a safe internet. When the internet was built 34 years ago, the computers were mobile. They sat in offices next to data centers. The internet has then changed, but the assumptions made 30 years ago are making your experience slower and less secure. So please pay attention. We are not only speaking about a safer internet, but also quicker, faster. So 1111 with warp replaces the connection between your device and the internet with a modern optimized protocol. So now again, like I told you, now I need to address one more thing. Not only the DNS, which is the 1111, but also warp. What exactly does this mean?
So 1.1.1.1 1 .1 1 .1 is actually a private DNS started by this company Cloudflare. All right, it is a DNS resolver, and what does this mean, guys? So let's say every time I'm using my phone to open Google.com, right? I need a DNS resolver that will translate your internet or my internet request to the specific IP addresses that let your computer know where you can find a website's data. So let's say I open CNN.com, right? I type in the browser CNN.com, but what the DNS is doing on the background, it takes the domain name and translates the CNN.com to the IP address, which you can see here, 151.101.6567. All right, so this is what a DNS resolver, domain name server is. Traditionally, DNS resolution is done through your internet service providers. Now, of course, I'm using my provider at home. I don't need to install any specific services. You know, they have a DNS and all my requests go through the DNS of my internet service provider. And here is the catch, okay? Because my service provider then is always able to know what I'm opening. So what websites I'm having access to, right? And some of the internet service providers are selling this info to some other companies that sell also new. Now, when you're using 1.1.1, you're indeed replacing your default internet service DNS resolver and also encrypting all of your internet requests so nobody can see them. So nobody should be able to track you, nobody should be able to understand where you're browsing, etc. So two very important things. First, this is a free private DNS that you can use instead of your default one. You can just use it without any kind of other applications and then your traffic requests are going to be encrypted. So Cloudflare is saying our goal is to deliver a better internet experience for everyone and we pride ourselves in being the world's fastest and most private DNS resolver. Now in fact there are some websites that are scoring the speed for the DNS's and 1.1.1 is even quicker than the Google DNS. And that's not empty words guys, take a look here. The 1.1.1 is indeed delivering query speed of 13.73 milliseconds. Then we have the NS filter and all the others and Google actually is on the sixth place. So it is very, very quick. DNS performance analytics and comparison. Now you have learned what a DNS is, DNS resolver name. You also have learned what traceroute can do, right? You have also learned what 1.1.1 is. And now I need to tell you what warp is. Then I'm gonna show you the applications and then I'm gonna do a few more tests, guys. What is the difference between warp? We have also warp plus and warp plus unlimited, which are paid services. But now first things first. So what you get free is you can always use this DNS. So 1.1.1 lets you protect your DNS queries by encrypting them with the HTTPS and TLS. We use R1111 public DNS resolver to resolve your queries and prevent ISPs from spying and selling your data. Okay, this was our original product offering and will always be free. This is very, very important. Okay, now on top of this private DNS that you can use for free, we have a new service and it's very easy to use, and that's the warp service. What is warp, guys? Warp is the same as 1.1, but actually better, because not only will Cloudflare still encrypt your DNS request, but we leverage also our global network of data centers and a more modern protocol to make your internet even faster. Warp will always be free for our users, Okay, and then we have the paid services. Warp is making your phone use this private 1.1.1 DNS, but also using a more modern protocol to communicate between your device and the websites you want to browse and also trying to find a quicker way so less in the path you need to travel right so the packets from your phone let's say to google.com will not go to 30 servers but let's say only 20 or routers or etc so it will shorten the time and with this kind of enhance your connection make it actually quicker Right? Then we have also Warp Plus, which is even a bit better because if there are some traffic jams, you know, things happen, devices break, cables got cut, and etc., it will always find a better route. Now, guys, after having understood what DNS is, what a trace routing is, what 1.1.1 is, and what Warp is, I think I can show you the tool itself. It's very easy, guys. You can find it on the Play Store 1.1.1.1. You can open it. It's absolutely for free. When you open it, you don't need to create accounts, nothing, right? You just see one very big button saying disconnected. Your DNS queries are not private. Okay, so let me just show you guys. I'm gonna run another trace route to google.com now with the same phone I used before, but with the disconnected 1.1.1. Let's start a trace. Now the warp DNS is off. Okay, you can always see I'm going through my router first. Now how many hops 
I'm going to need to go to Google. You see, 9 hops this time, 8,121. Now I'm going to go back into the warp tool, I'm going to connect the warp tool, checking connection, connected, your internet is private. By the way, you can see here the icon VPN, but I'm going to address this a bit later. Right now let's go back, so 9 hops, 8,000 milliseconds, let's do another trace, and you can see my phone now is going to a different route, and I need only 6 hops, almost 100% quicker. So guys. Although you might not see this with all the websites, this is definitely going to enhance your connection. Now there is something I want to address guys. See here I have the icon VPN and if I go inside my settings and if I click to VPN, this is on my Xiaomi, I can see that VPN is actually turned on. Of course I have some other services like the VPN India and other VPN services, but there is something you need to know. You cannot use 1.1.1 .1 .1 really to change your IP address, right? So it will always be your IP address, which means that you cannot, let's say, access Netflix in countries where Netflix is forbidden. And you cannot use this 1.1.1 DNS as a real VPN, right? So what it only does is change your default internet service provider DNS to the very quick and safer 1.1.1 encrypts all of your requests with TLS and HTTPS so your ISP will not really know what you browse and hopefully also make your connection quicker and faster, right? So although you're gonna see here VPN, this doesn't mean that you have a full-fledged VPN. Now the interface of the warp application, like I told you, is very very similar. If I disconnect it right now, okay, until I turn it back on, VPN is gone. With this button, guys, you can see a very extensive frequently asked questions. Those are things that I also read you through this video and trying to explain to you what is trace routing, what is DNS, how does it work, and etc. and etc. What are the differences between 1.1.1, what is warp, warp plus, and etc. So go there if you want to check more details. From here, right, you can also create your account, and if you're using one of the paid services, of course, you can also try to share this to your friends and getting more traffic on a monthly basis. It does really work in a very fancy and very, I would say, simple way. Guys, use it. Test it. It will not hurt, and it's free. If you see some improvements with your internet connection, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to discuss with you your results. Right now, I'm going to turn it back on. On my device, I'm using Warp. I really think that it makes my browsing go faster, so I love it. I really hope that a video like this is really meaningful for you and it makes sense. And if that's the case, I would appreciate the like and the sub from your side. Please, you guys and your family, stay safe until we meet in one of my next episodes. And with that said, VST over and... Bye.